This is Jason with Year Round Garden. Welcome to part three of our four part series on plant cloning. Now that you've taken and cleaned up your cuttings, they're ready to be placed in a grow medium. We recommend using a grow medium with no nutrient content, such as Cocoa Core, Oasis, Rockwell Cubes, Pro Mix, or Root Plugs. All work equally well. In this case, we're using cocoa that has been expanded in pH neutral water. If you're using cocoa, you want to pack the material into your cell as tight as possible. This will provide support to your cuttings. Use your scissors to poke a hole in each cell to make room for your cutting. Select a cutting and dip the end directly into your rooting hole. We're using Clonex rooting gel. Make sure the entire area of your 45 degree cut is covered with the rooting gel and that the gel is fully surrounding your stem. At this point, you're ready to place your cutting in your grow medium. Select a cell, place the cutting as far down as possible in the hole you made earlier. You can pack the media tightly around the stem for additional stability. Once all your cuttings are in place, add a humidity dome to the top of your tray. This will create a moist, humid environment that will assist in the development of roots in the next one or two weeks. Keep an eye out for part four of this series where we will cover how to manage your cuttings as they develop roots. This is Jason with Year Round Garden. Stay tuned.